If you watch my review of the Rafa Pro Climbers jersey, you will remember that I criticised the construction of it around the pocket and side panel area. I said it was not strong enough and it should have some reinforcing in there and that it had ripped and I had to take it back on various occasions in that area. Well, have a look at this picture here. What you're seeing here is side pocket on the right. This crisscross part is the side panel. The green color underneath is my bed sheet that I was holding it on when I took the photo. Um, you can see how thin it is. And this big hole here is where it's ripped again. Now this area has no structural support. Every time you put something in the pocket or take it out, this bit gets yanked where my mouse is and eventually, not eventually, quickly just rips. Now this design is obviously shit as I correctly pointed out in the previous video. Every time I've taken it back to Rafa, I've mentioned this and they did that sort of, oh yeah, whatever, you know, thing. I've mentioned this to fanboys as well, who've just said, well, you shouldn't be riding it. Well, look, it rips, yeah? So today I was looking on the Rafa site and it seems that they've updated their pro range. We've got the pro team flyweight jersey, pro team lightweight jersey, pro team aero jersey, pro team midweight jersey, pro team training jersey, etc. But there's no pro team climbers jersey so the pro team climbers jersey has been basically replaced by the flyweight and the lightweight they've sort of split it into two uh, the flyweight is the super lightweight one and then the lightweight jersey is the slightly heavy one but still quite light i actually went down to the rafa store today to uh, get my money back on that uh, climbers jersey that i was just sick of ripping all the time and i had a look at these jerseys i spoke to the staff and they confirmed that this is indeed the replacement for the pro climbers jersey i started having a look at the construction in this picture it doesn't actually show the side panels However, I can assure you that the super thin mesh that you see here no longer exists on this flyweight jersey. And it also doesn't exist on the lightweight jersey. So basically what's happened is this side panel that's mesh that just rips here every time, they've ditched the idea because look, it is shit. All right. So this is Rafa, one of the largest cycling companies in the world. They've cocked up and they've had to completely redo their design. Right. Which shows you that they're all fallible. They all cock up. You should never believe that the products that people release are actually any good until you've tested them. Right. So anyway, when I was in the Rafa store uh, and I asked my money back, I didn't actually have a receipt for it. So I said, OK, well, all right, cool. Can I just exchange it then? They didn't actually have a like for like item because this is the old one. They can give me a voucher to the value of this jersey here that's ripped, which I can use online to buy another jersey. So that means that I now have exactly 23,500 yen to spend in Rafa. Now, the fact that they've actually updated the Pro Climbers jersey and got rid of the main criticism I had of it, which was this side panel that ripped around the pockets, I am going to choose one of these jerseys, either a lightweight one or a flyweight one. And just like the Void jersey the other day, I need you guys to help me choose a color. I'm going to say it's going to be one of these flyweight jerseys. The colors we've got are orange, baby blue, gray, or black. Now, I'll get whatever color you vote for the most, all right, in the comments, just like I did with the uh, Void jersey, which actually turned up today, by the way. It looks really cool. Check out my Instagram for that. So yeah, vote for my new jersey color. I'll get it, and then I'll thrash it, test it, and then make a video about it in a few months' time when it's fucked. All right, cheers.